President Obama inspected an Ethiopian honor guard and stood with Prime Minister Dissaling Halle Mariam this morning, but ceremony could not obscure a decade of harsh single-party rule, harassment of journalists, and the jailing of dissidents. The two leaders sat together, allies in a regional counter-terrorism battle against al-Qaeda affiliate al-Shabaab, which claimed responsibility for a deadly bombing Sunday in the neighboring Somalian capital of Mogadishu. Ethiopian troops have been battling al-Shabaab in Somalia off and on since 2006. At a press conference, the president addressed strains in U.S. relations with Ethiopia. I believe that when all voices are being heard, when people know that they're included, in the political process, that makes a country stronger and more successful and more innovative. This comes after Mr. Obama's trip to Kenya this weekend, where he clashed openly with President Uhuru Kenyatta over Kenya's opposition to gay rights. The idea that they are going to be treated differently or abused because of who they love is wrong. For Kenyans today, the issue of gay rights is really a non-issue. But the president also said Kenya and other African nations still cling to traditions that marginalize women and discourage them from working. That's stupid. <laughs> that makes no sense. Abariki. There were lighter moments, such as the two presidents, Obama and Kenyatta, line dancing at the state dinner.